everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Shannon and I am Cabin Crew and today I'm in Chicago. So this is a little bit of a surprise visit to Chicago. Chicago is never on my roster. If you watch my August roster reveal, then you will already know this information. But yeah, I was never meant to go to Chicago. I got this off of my available days and yeah, it's my first ever time being here. So I thought I'd pick up the camera. This isn't really going to be a Chicago vlog. It's more going to be about a general Cabin Crew layover. Only because I don't really have that many plans whilst I'm here so it wouldn't be worthwhile to do a huge Chicago vlog but I still want to film something for you guys so I'm basically just going to take you on my entire layover as crew on the Chicago trip so for us a Chicago is a three-day trip and a three-day trip usually means that you get about 24 hours at the destination so today my report time was at 25 past nine in the morning so I was up nice and early I woke up at half past five to leave my house at half past six and I gave myself loads of time because at that time it's rush hour traffic so I knew I was going to need to give myself a lot longer than I usually do. I usually give myself two and a half hours between leaving my house and my report time and I usually get about half an hour to spare with that and I knew with the rush hour traffic I'd need a little bit more so I gave myself three hours and I got there with enough time for my 9.25 report and that report time was for an 11.05 departure time. Our flight time that we got given by the flight crew was seven hours and 52 minutes so it's a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to be. So we ended up landing in Chicago. I remember looking at my watch and it was 20 past seven when we landed. That's UK time plus six. What's that? What's the maths? 20 past one. Is that right? 20 past 7, 20 past 8, 20 past 9, 20 past 10, no, wrong way, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 20 past 1 that's when we landed in Chicago Chicago Airport is crazy like actually crazy busy so when we landed trying to get through passport control and all of that was an absolute nightmare that took a very long time and then the taxi ride from the airport to our hotel is quite long as well so we actually ended up getting in at about quarter past three so it took a good two hours to get from landing to the hotel but it's okay because we're here now so the flight was actually really good we flew on a 777-300 so that's one of the bigger Boeing aircrafts that we have and there's 12 12 of us on this flight. The crew on this trip were really, really nice. We all got on really well. We worked really well as a team. So yeah, all in all, the flight itself was really good. But like I said, we're now here. We finally got to the hotel in Chicago and some of us are going to head out. This is my first visit, so I really wanted to go and do something that Chicago is known for. So we're going to head down to, I think it's called Millennium Park and it's just a beautiful open green space with all sorts of things to do there, I believe. It looks like there's places to eat, a little fountain, apparently. Just a lovely little walk, it seems. And there's also this huge statue, I think that's what you would call it. I don't know what else you would call it. There's a massive piece of art <laughs> called Cloud Gate, which is now known as The Bean, and it's like a touristy thing to do here in Chicago. I don't know much about it. I just know that it was actually a piece of art made by, I think it was an artist that is actually English. I think he was Indian born. I'm not 100% sure on that. So please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but he created this giant bean shaped statue. And it's called Cloud Gate, but like I said, it's now known as the bean because it looks like a bean and it's one of the things to go and visit here so I think we're going to take a walk down to Millennium Park just go for a wander it's not the nicest day outside today and I've only packed for like beautiful sunny weather so that's not great <laughs> but here we are we're going to go and do that today and I really want to try a classic Chicago town pizza so hopefully we get to do those things today it's just coming up to 20 past 4 now so I'm going to head down and meet some of the crew in the lobby and we're going to go and head out as for the rest of my trip i do not know what I'm going to do. It's probably going to be quite a chilled trip, but this is the reality. We get here, we don't have a clue what we're going to do or whether we're going to do anything. And I thought I'd pick the camera up just to show you how real that is because I think a lot of the time people think I go, I have the best time ever, I film it all and I come home. And actually in reality, there's quite a few places I go and I'm just like, you know what, can't be bothered. Today's one of those days, but because I'm here for the first time and the crew have motivated me i am gonna go out and see it all which is good because i can get it on camera as well also i feel like i've had so many songs in my head since i've been here just because of the place that i'm in yeah i'm singing like windy city from calamity jane because it's the windy city and i keep in my head i keep going chicago from victoria's anybody else done that since they picked up this vlog today 
Or is it just me? I'm sure my sister's been singing it at least. But yeah, this is the reality of a cabin crew layover. We're in Chicago and we're gonna see what we get up to. I don't know if you can hear, well you probably can because it's really loud. We've got a little concert going on. We've just walked through all the gardens to get here. They're checking bags on the way in, which is really good. And they've got a concert over here. I think it's at half past six in the evening, but I think they must be rehearsing for it now. It sounds beautiful. <laughs> To the bean. It's very busy around here. You can still hear the music in the background, which is stunning. I'm gonna try and get some good pictures. <laughs> oh, that is trippy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's like a little bar kind of evening atmosphere going on down here. Stop for some food, some drinks. Oh, this guy's having a party. It really is Windy City, <laughs> like, I'm so winter right now. We've just been wandering around the Bean and stuff, which was cool to see. And now we're going for some real deep dish Chicago town pizza at a place called Giordano's. And I'm so excited because I'm so hungry. It literally smells amazing in here. Oh my god. 
That is so good. And I'm back in my room. Can you see how tired I am? <laughs> I'm so sleepy. That Chicago deep dish pizza literally hit the spot and now I've gone into the world's biggest food coma there is. I was literally sat at the table <laughs> and they were like, are you okay? And I was like, no. I'm so tired. So I really need to go to bed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to you about my day in the morning when I'm a little bit more fresh and I can actually string a sentence together because I'm just too tired. It's currently quarter past eight. So there's me saying we weren't really gonna be out for long. We were out for a good four hours and we had a really nice time. But like I said, I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm gonna catch you up and talk to you about all the details of my day tomorrow morning when I'm alive and well. Good morning. I am so much more alive this morning so I can finally talk to you about my day yesterday. So yesterday we obviously started a little walk by heading down to Millennium Park. We visited the Bean which was on my must-do list. I'm glad that we ticked that off. We also went to this big stage. I believe it's called the J Pritzker Pavilion. Please let me know in the comments if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But they're doing the Grant Park Musical Festival at the moment and they were just rehearsing. So that was just one of the orchestras that was rehearsing there. So it was really cool that we got to see it. I believe it's free to watch them. However, you can reserve the seat in. So you know where the red seats were? I think you can pay to reserve a seat. However, the whole park behind that, you can just sit and listen and watch from there. But yeah, that was really cool. I'm really glad that we got to watch them rehearse and they were so good. It just filled the whole park. It was amazing. Even when we walked down towards the bean, you could still hear them. So that was a nice little extra bonus that we got yesterday. There's also quite a lot of restaurants and bars and stuff in the area which was nice and it's literally just off of like the main street so there's plenty of shopping to do plenty of bars plenty of restaurants it was like a nando's a subway and then we went to giordano's which is a pizza restaurant and obviously chicago is famous for its deep dish pizzas so that was something i really wanted to tick off and we did that it was so so good i don't think i would have a deep dish pizza over like a regular like Italian pizza though. I do definitely think that the classic like thin and crispy pizzas are much better but it was nice to try it for sure. So there was four of us that went. We ended up getting two of the 10 inch pizzas which feed about two to three people. So we got two of those to share between the four of us and I ended up taking some home. One was called the special which was the, the tomato -y based one. I think it was sausage, mushroom and peppers. And then the other one we got was like a chicken, barbecue, bacon kind of one. And then I also got a drink. I got a cocktail. They had frozen cocktails. So I got the frozen Millennium Park lemonade. Absolute citron, lemonade and blueberry that was in it. And it was so nice. It didn't even taste like alcohol. So price wise, I've got the receipt. And I paid about $30. And that was for my share of the two pizzas plus my drink. That's including tax. And then I put a tip on top of that. So I ended up paying about $35. So yeah, I didn't think that was that bad. And it was really, really nice. I'm glad that I got to try a deep dish pizza in Chicago. But yeah, that was our last stop. We had a waiter who was actually Irish. It was really strange to come all the way out to Chicago and then get an Irish waiter. He was really lovely. He was on some sort of visa. And he was telling us that he does like two months here. He'll do like two months in Nashville. And then he said at the end that he gets to travel a little bit as well. I didn't even know they did visas like that over in the US. So that's quite cool. And then on the way back, it got a little bit darker. It was still daylight, but it was a little bit darker. It was about eight o'clock by this point. The lights were starting to come up on all the buildings and it was really pretty actually. We saw some nice views on the way home. And then I got home at about 20 past eight and that's when I was very, very tired and spoke to you guys. I ended up going to sleep at about nine, but that is obviously like, three in the morning UK time so I was very tired. I didn't wake up today until about eight so I got a decent night's sleep. However, I did wake up at about five. I had one of those classic dreams where your boyfriend cheats on you. So that was great. So obviously I've already had a go at him about it. This morning a lot of the crew went down for breakfast but I was soundo so I did not join them. I did eat this morning. I ate my leftover pizza. I had like half a slice of pizza left that I finished this morning. Here she is, this is the box. But yeah, I finished that this morning. That was my breakfast because I did not manage to get out and meet the crew this morning. I was gonna go for a little walk as well because it's a really nice sunny day today. Obviously yesterday we had a really nice time, but the weather wasn't great. There was a few little bits of like spitting rain here and there as well. And it was just overall quite cloudy and very windy. But today the sun is shining. Our pickup is at about two today. So I need to be getting ready from about one 
and it's obviously just gone 11 so not too much time to do anything but I always like to go to the gym so I am going to go to the gym and then I'm going to see if I'm wanting to head out for a walk. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't know. But this is the reality. I told you you guys were getting a reality of what a cabin crew layover is like. We never know what we're going to do, what we want to do, how we're going to feel. And this is exactly what it's like. I have just bunged my hair up in a very messy ponytail and I put my gym stuff on. So I'm going to head down to the gym and then I'm probably just going to chill for the rest of the day. Okay, so it's just coming up to one o'clock. I've been to the gym. My wake up time is at quarter past one, so I haven't really had much time to do anything. I've got myself showered, like semi packed, ready to go, and I've just whacked this dress on because I had to run downstairs and get my lunch. I ordered Chick fil A. I think I've had Chick fil A before, but I think I ordered the nuggets and I don't think I had any Chick fil A sauce. I know, shocking. This time I've ordered the Chick fil A sandwich and then I've got the waffle fries that they're famous for and the Chick Chick-fil-A sauce and a Coke. This is the burger, literally just bun, chicken, bun. It does come with pickles, but I don't like pickles. Then I have my waffle fries. I've heard are really good here. I've got some mayo to put in my burger, but if I like the Chick-fil-A sauce enough, then I'll probably just put the Chick-fil-A sauce in it. Here we are, that's my very plain burger. <laughs> And a closer look at the waffle fries. So this all in all cost me about $20. And it was free delivery. Oh, I did not expect it to be that colour. What is it meant to be? Why is it this yellow orange colour? I don't know. Right, I'm going to try it. Waffle fry. Mmm. I feel like I need more of it on there. That's good. I suppose it's like a, a combination of like a mayo and a mustard. It's quite sweet though. I really like that. I'm going to use this second one. <laughs> to put in my burger and then try the burger with the sauce. I feel like I need to be using a knife to spread this, but <laughs> this is all I have right now. There we go. I'm nervous. That is good chicken. Mm-hmm. That is really nice. That is so, so good. I can't believe I've been to America how many times and I've never had Chick-fil-A, like a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A or the Chick-fil-A sauce. Now, I'm just going to sit and eat this and watch Emily in Paris. And then I need to speedily get ready for pickup. So I've just finished doing my hair and all my skincare and everything to double check. My liquids bag is ready to go now. And I've been packing up my stuff. Everything's done though, I just need to get out of this and get into my uniform and zip up all my bags and I'm good to go. So I'm going to love you and leave you basically. I know this vlog's been a bit random. It's been like half a Chicago vlog and then half a what it's like to do a cabin crew layover. But I hope it's been helpful and I hope it's been a little bit of an insight. But yeah, I gotta go because I've got a little flight to catch home. So I'm on a 777-300 on the way home again. There's 12 of us. Our departure time is at 3.45 and our pickup is at 2.15. So the bus journey to the airport I know is gonna be horrific. Whether it's traffic or whether it's just a long journey, I don't know. It was quite long coming over here, so. I'm going to try and have a little nap on the bus, but hopefully I'll get a nice amount of sleep in the bunks on the way home. It's probably going to be about maybe 7 hours 15 is my guess for the way home. Because it was just shy of 8 hours on the way out and it's always quicker on the way back when we're coming in from America. So hopefully it'll be nice and quick flight on the way home. But yeah, i got to go. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you soon in my next one.